Hey, what's up, what's happening, and what's going down? It is your boy, the Ruxman, coming at you guys live and direct today. Guys, we got a different style video today, man. Check this out. I just want to give a big shout out to the people down at, I guess it's called Tagua Leather. Guys, I want to give these guys the props they deserve. Let's jump right into it, y'all. All right, so for, I don't know how many of y'all that have been watching the channel now, we've been doing this for a little over a year now, but I just recently got into firearms. And one thing that you learn as you're getting into firearms is that if you're gonna be responsible, or at least what I consider responsible, everybody's different. You know, you may want to holster your weapon. You may not want to have it just, you know, in between your belt and your pants, cause you know, just to prevent slippage, I don't know. Maybe I'm overly cautious, that's just me. So for those who carry that way, then that's your thing. But I wanted to make sure mine wasn't falling apart. So first thing you do, obviously, is you go to the store, you get a holster. Well, I got a holster. I got two, actually, from Tagua. I think I'm pronouncing the name right, Tagua Gun Leather. And the first one was this one right here. So I got this guy right here. Nice retention holster, you know. And the idea was I wanted one that I was going to have every day that I was going to carry all the time. And this guy was supposed to be for me when I was out walking the dog wearing sweatpants. And the thing that really attracted me to it is this little clip right here. Like you can see that. That little clip was locks the gun in when you put it in there and it doesn't move. So if you need to get it, you just press the clip, take the gun out and you're good to go. Well. I don't know what happened, but one day this thing stopped functioning. And you know, like most companies, they tell you to give them a call. It's on the back of the materials and everything like that. Their information and everything's all there on the back, prominently displayed. I said, you know what? I'm glad I saved this case. Let me give these guys a call and see if they, you know, it's just a chance to see if you could call a company out. You know what I mean? See if they're gonna do the right thing. Well. In fact, they actually did. I reached out to them. It took a little while to respond, so I reached out again on um, Facebook, and I got an immediate response from someone. I can't remember the name, but I know ultimately it was a gentleman by the name of Gus who jumped in it, took over, and you know handled this stuff, and sent me out this right here. So I don't even know which case they sent out, but I did tell them I wanted something that was going to be an inside of the waistband. I didn't need another um hard um what do you call it polymer style holster but something that was going to be inside of the waistband and since i had that one that was you know solid where you could slide it in and the other one i had was inside of the waistband but soft i wanted something that was like a fusion in between the both so today bam we're gonna get our first chance to open up a package with old big john here so let's jump right into it y'all Let's see what we got. So let's. Oh man, John is sharp, man. He doesn't. He doesn't mess around. Big John is the man. So let's put him away for safety reasons. We don't need him more than we need him. Put him off to the side back here, and let's see what they've sent out. So. All right. Oh man. So let's see. Let's first dig into the envelope. It looks as though they sent me a little envelope here. I don't know what this is about. But I want to make sure you guys see it at, at home there. So I'll dig this out. Maybe it's an angry letter. I don't know. Let's see. All right. So nothing too crazy. Just a little thing showing me what I got here and what the model of the holster is. But this is what they've sent out, guys. And I'll show it to you, kind of give you a better idea of what it looks like. And this looks pretty cool man let me take a quick look at it okay guys so i'm, I'm zoom i'm gonna scoot up a little bit so you guys can see this it looks like tagu was actually partnered up with remora which is another case maker and they've combined this leather and kydex style dual clip inside of the waistband holster and it says it right down here so you guys can see that is by remora i don't know if remora and them have some type of deal but this looks pretty 
pretty cool, man. I'm going to pop this out of the case, and I'm going to actually go off and get my um my 19, the Glock 19. I'll make sure it's unloaded, and I'll check it again on camera for you guys so you know. But I want to see how it looks, man. Let's do that. Okay, guys. So I've gone ahead. I've adjusted the camera so that you guys could see everything a lot easier. I went, got my Glock 19. This is my MOS Glock that I told you I had coming in a while ago. I never did show you guys this. Maybe I should have done an unboxing, but I didn't. But this is my Glock 19 MOS. I'll go revisit that for you later. As you can see, nothing loaded into the firearm. We'll go ahead and check it. Make sure it's safe nothing in there you can check it a couple of times and make sure nothing's going on but in a safe direction all right so now we know we're working with an unloaded firearm safety first all the time people but let's see how this um fits unfortunately i'm not in a optimal situation for trying out this particular holster but it is a it's a it's a really nice holster, man. It's got a nice little back into it. It's really soft, so shouldn't shouldn't I should I'd say shouldn't interfere with with your skin too much. But for me, I always have like a a, a tank top or some type of undershirt, so I don't think it would be much of a problem for me. But this looks pretty cool. Let's see how it holsters. See if it's any nice solid fit right there. Pretty cool. So I, I'm gonna enjoy, see what I had before, is I had a soft leather one, and the issue that happens is when you take it out of your your belt, and I don't know if you guys, you know, your waistband or whatever, right up in here, you know, you have to kind of pull your, your, your jeans away to, to tuck it back in if you ever have to, you know, take it out because you gotta go into a church or somewhere like that where you can't bring the firearm in. So I kind of like the option where this is already formed, where it's already ready to accept the weapon. So you just go ahead and of course, you know, just reholster it. So pretty cool. I'm gonna try it on for you guys. It looks like it has little adjustment holes down here. So if you wanna, you know, just have them a little canted a little bit or whatever, just adjust it like that. But yeah, let me let me let me try it out and I'll um, put it on and I'll get on camera again for you guys to see how it looks. All right, guys. So I've gone ahead. I've adjusted the camera so you guys can see. I actually am wearing it with the sweatpants. It actually conceals really well, you know, with just what I'm wearing right now. And as you can see, you'd have to go through a lot to know that I'm actually wearing a firearm and it feels really, really comfortable. So you kind of can see I'm trying to get you guys a good look at it. Got to crouch down a little bit so you can see. But that's the firearm. Takes it out. And then just put it back in there. Got it back in. And it's in there. And then you're good to go. So that's the idea. So a lot quicker to reholster than just a standard leather inside of the waistband setup that I had before. Anyway, guys, that's going to just about do it for the um you know the big shout out for tagua and this um kydex and leather backing holster out let me look at the model in case you guys want to pick this particular model up i'll get that for you off the case right now so i'm gonna read it right off the case this is model re like resident evil kdc 310 so re kdc 310 guys Really, really cool holster. I really like this um carbon fiber they got on there. That's really cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with it some more, wear it and get used to it before I can say, you know what, I'm in love with it. But so far, I'm really impressed. It fits properly in my sweatpants, which is nice, and I really can't wait to get it into a pair of jeans. But anyway, guys, if you like this video or videos like this, you know what to do. Hit that like button down below as it does help the channel out tremendously. Follow us on social media. Links will be down in the description below. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, guys. If you have any questions, holla at your boy in that comment section down below. But anyway, guys, as always, in true Ruxman fashion, slow down, but never stop. Ruxman out. Love you, baby. Mean it.